Serum 2 looks overwhelming, too many options and buttons? Don't worry, in this video you'll get a clear and simple instruction to how Serum 2 works. We're skipping the nerdy stuff. This is all about getting you up and running without frying your brain. If you want to finally understand what's what in Serum 2, this is the video for you. But before we get into it, make sure to check out our website, noiseharmony.com and grab a completely free ebook with 17 advanced and creative tips for Serum 2. It will take your Serum 2 skills to the next level once you've learned the basics. Let's go! Oscillators! First up, the oscillators. In Serum 2, we've got five sound sources. Sub, OSCA, B, C and noise. Oscillators A, B and C can run in several modes. Wavetable, morph through wave shapes for animated evolving sounds. Multi-sample, load real instruments like piano or vocals, stretch, pitch and process them freely. Sample, single audio shots, trim, loop, transpose. Granular, break samples into tiny grains for glitchy or ambient textures. Spectral, manipulate frequency spectrum directly. You can modulate WT pass, wavetable position, and twist it further with warp modes. Mirror, band, sync, fold and more. Each oscillator also has volume, pan and pitch controls, including fine coarse tuning. Turn on unison to clone the voice into multiple layers. Add detune and blend. Detune spreads them in pitch, blend controls how much of the spread you hear. Sub is great for bass, with simple waves like sine, triangle and so. But it can also be a great harmonic layer in the upper octaves. Noise is not just white noise. You can load any sample, a click, breath, vinyl crackle, use it as a texture or transient. Envelopes. You get four envelopes. The most important is envelope one, which sets whether a sound starts instantly or fades in, ends fast or slowly decays. Envelope two, three and four can be mapped to anything. Filters, warp, pan, just drag the blue circle. Quick ADSR explanation. Attack is how fast the sound fades in after pressing a key. Decay how long it takes to fall from the peak volume. Sustain, the level held as long as you hold the note. Release, how long it fades out after releasing the key. LFOs, Serum 2 gives you up to 10 LFOs. They are perfect for automating anything. Tremolo, oscillator controls, filter sweeps, pitch movement, whatever you want. There are several LFO shapes to choose from. Normal, you can draw your own shape or choose from factory presets, path, here you can draw weird shapes, chaos for random evolving motions, sample and hold for random values held in time steps. Each LFO can run in one of three playback modes. Free runs continuously independent of MIDI notes. Retrig, which starts with every note press, and envelope, which plays the shape once like an envelope. You can draw your own shapes, use LFOs as wavetables, or grab wavetable shapes and turn them into LFOs. Rate controls LFO speed. Use BPM for tempo sync or Hertz for free rate. Turn on trip for triplets and dot for dotted timing. Functions like delay, smooth, phase and rise give you even more control over how your LFOs behave. Delay lets you offset the LFO start time, smooth softens sharp transitions, phase sets the start position of the LFO and rise enables the rise time for the LFO. In normal and path modes, you can change the playback direction. Run the LFO forward, backward, or in ping pong mode for back and forth motion. Filters. Serum 2 gives you two powerful filters and total freedom in how you use them. You can route each oscillator, A, B, C, sub and noise through filter 1, filter 2, both or bypass filters entirely. It's completely up to you. All of these can be easily controlled in the mixer, where you set the signal flow for each source. Now let's explain the signal flow in Serum 2. The signal starts from the sound sources, sub, A, B, C and noise, and its volume is controlled by envelope 1. You then decide if each oscillator goes through filter 1, filter 2, both or skips them entirely. Next, it can pass through FX buses, main, bus 1 or bus 2, or go to direct output. All of these can be handled in the mixer tab. So for example, if you send oscillator A to bus 1, make sure the bus 1 FX track is sent to direct, not main, 
or the signal will go through both FX chains in series. You can stack FX on purpose or blend them subtly by controlling mix levels. In the mixer tab, you can also set individual volume and pan positions. But let's go back to the filter section. Each filter has a quick routing panel where you can instantly choose what it affects. You also get a wide range of filter types – low pass, high pass, band pass, formants, comps and others. You can even draw your own filter. Core controls include cutoff, which sets the frequency cutoff point, resonance, which boosts around the cutoff for emphasis, drive, which adds saturation and edge, fat, which thickens the tone and adds weight. But depending on the filter type, this knob can change to other functions, like frequency, morph or others, so it's worth exploring. Pen, which controls the stereo placement of the filter output, mix, which blends filtered and dry signals, and level for final volume of the filter output. Macros. You get eight macros. Each can control multiple parameters. Want one knob to tweak cutoff, WT pause and delay at once? It's easy, just drag it in. Matrix. The matrix shows you all your modulations in one place. What's controlling what, how strongly and in what way. You can fine-tune the behavior of LFOs, envelopes, macros and more, all from one central view. One day we'll dive deep into the matrix. Trust me, there's a lot to uncover in their effects. Serum 2 includes 13 stackable effects, plus 3 effects paths. Main, bus 1 and bus 2. Want three reverbs in a row? Go for it! You can reorder effects by dragging them up or down in the effects rack. Each effect can be bypassed with the little eye icon. It's great for quick A-B testing. Click the arrow on the effects rack header to open a menu with factory presets. You can also save your own effects chains and copy-paste individual modules between effects or even different projects. There is also Serum FX, a separate plugin that lets you use the FX engine on other tracks. Oscillators can be routed to bus 1 or bus 2 individually, which is great for layered processing. If you enjoyed this video, drop a comment. I'll do a full FX section overview where we go through all of the effects one by one, how they sound and how to use them. Presets. Not sure where to start? Serum 2 has a huge library of presets. Presets are great as is, or as a starting point to tweak and build your own ideas. Check the description for a link to our custom preset pack, Dream Horizon, made specially for Serum 2, Arpeggiator, finally. Serum 2 has a built-in arpeggiator, no need for external MIDI tricks. Now you can program rhythmic patterns directly inside the synth. Here are the basic controls that you need to know to get started. Pattern. Choose how notes play – up, down, random, etc. In pattern mode, you can just draw your own custom sequences step by step. Rate – set speed – example, 1 16th. You can also enable triplet or dotted timings. Transpose – shift notes up or down by semitones per step. Range nap specifies how many times the pattern is transposed by the shift setting. Gate – controls how long each note is held. Repeats – how many times a note is repeated before moving on. Chance – sets how likely a note is played, like crits in a game, hit or a miss. Latch – hold the chord and let it keep playing, even after you release the keys. There is also MIDI out, scale quantizing, swing and even velocity curves for deeper control. Clip mode – Clip lets you record or draw full MIDI phrases directly inside Serum, like a mini sequencer. You can program notes, chords, velocity, CCs and macros. Global settings. In the global tab, you can adjust general settings for how Serum behaves. Here you can access UI options, fine-tune oscillator voicings, enable MPE support if you're using an expressive MIDI controller. Most of these you can leave as it is but it's good to know where to find them. If you're ever unsure about a control, just hover your cursor over it. Serum will show a helpful tooltip with a short description. Essential Serum shortcuts. Hold Shift to fine-tune parameters. Command plus click to reset knob value, or Option plus drag to copy settings. Serum supports MIDI Learn, 
It's super easy, just right click to assign any nap. Next to the keyboard you'll find the portamento nap, which makes your notes glide smoothly from one to another. And you can use it to control how fast or slow that glide happens. And that's it! Or more like just the beginning. Serum 2 is massive, but now you know how to move around. If you want more tips, deep dives and ready to go presets, hit subscribe, leave a like and check the links below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.